is Poetry for Warriors Daily. Your daily dose of Poetry for Warriors. And here's your host, Joshua David Ling. 3. Ransom The following morning, Braden woke up to a note on the refrigerator door. It was written in red pen and in a hurry, and he wished it had stated more. Brayden, I had to run a few errands out of town. I should be back this evening. Please help yourself to the Kung Pao. It's true that Rayan would sometimes journey out of town without letting anyone know beforehand, but he had no clue what this was about. He went over to their desktop computer and logged on to check his mail, and there were all his spam emails without any fail. But one link crossed his browser screen and made him raise an eyebrow. The subject read, We have Daniela. Contact us now. He opened the email expecting some trick, a Nigerian prince or scheme, but all that was there was a single video. He clicked it and watched it stream. The video was clearly of Daniela, unconscious and tied to a chair. A few individuals wearing black moved around her there. Their voices were modulated and an intimidating growl came from the person who gave him instructions. Come to us now. Come to the sportsman's lodge hotel, and come completely alone. If you come with backup, Daniela will never go home. And if you try to share this video with anyone else, it will not stream a second time, and the server storing it will melt. Brayden tried to pause the video, but it cut out immediately. He rushed upstairs and grabbed Shadowlash and threw on his clothes quickly. Out the door and down the street as fast as he could go, nothing would stop him from saving Daniela. No sinister threats would slow the warrior of California from finding her and exacting a swift rescue. The horror made his blood boil and his anger began to stew. This has been Poetry for Warriors Daily. For more, visit joshuadavidling.com.